What just happened? The entire lab tremored, shaking us one by one. Rocks began to fall from the ceiling. It happened so suddenly, the building collapsing. By the time I opened my eyes, I couldn't see the other side of the hallway, blocked off by large debris. Tucker, where Tucker, where are you? I think he do. Kataru doesn't give a shit. He's out of it. Good night, Lyra. Lyra, can you hear me? Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Where are they? Where are the others, huh? We heard rapid running down the vents. Eventually, a very panicked cat hopping out. Um, so. What happened? Meow, so, um. Meow, quick listen, kid. When you're told to pay for building repairs, do it. Oh, Mononeka, who's my cute little scrungly in machine building repairs? No, no, it's quite alright. Meow, we'll be fine. You just get back to your evil schemes. I better get a fucking raise. I knew I was right, meow. Hey, please tell us what happened. Are the others safe? Meow, listen, Oregano or Coriander or whatever your name is, the others are fine. Just stuck on the other side. The ceiling just had a minor case of complete and total structural collapse. Meow? Meaning? Meow, so good news, I don't have to waste money on the motive now. Bad news, you might never see your friends ever again. You did this deliberately, didn't you? I was wondering, actually, if this is going to be like in DR2, in the fun house, where everyone is momentarily cut off from one another. What? Meow, I think you should be glad we can use this as a motive. You would have really hated what I had planned. How can we get the rocks removed? Meow, well, be patient, kill someone. Think of this as a test. See if you could survive around people you wouldn't usually hang out with and not snap meow. Like a very, very long, side, very sad blind date meow. A sleepover. Exactly meow. Doesn't that just sound peachy meow? Now I need to nip around to the other side to explain the situation to the others meow. Just know for now, you can sleep wherever you want. And a uh, good luck meow. And with that, the cat slipped through the vent again. This is the worst. You tell me, Taka can't even tie his own shoelaces, he's stuck on his own. But his shoes don't have laces. And why do you think that is? Point taken. Well, I for one think this will be super fun. I'll admit I'm going to lose my Miss Lila, but I can make a whole bunch of new friends. Imagine having some of the Miss. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to cover my mouth. <laughs> I'll be your friend, Kotaru. I'll stay by your side. Mr. A, we killed him. No, you, we killed him. We're going to get that through your head. Oh, well, before we start panicking, let's get some things established. Hmm? Well, think about it. We're on the side of where the kitchen is, so we got food, and no need to worry about that. And the fitness centre has washing machines, and we got water from both the kitchen and the biodome, so we don't have to worry about getting stinky. We have no need to panic. We've got everything we need. Do we have any way to sleep? I just want to sleep until someone finally decides to take me back to HC. And Ray will be keeping an eye on Katara to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, this is thick and though. Where are we going to sleep? Silly Minty, everyone is in bed if you try hard enough. The streets, the streets, cupboards for the whole of dumpsters, some just can't be picky. Yeah, I try to sort of say her lines very fast and I can never can. <laughs> At least I can never quite get it. Well, I'm, also, I'm guessing none of us want to sleep in trash. It's also probably best all of us sleep in the same room so no more murders happen at night. I don't know. The stop of medicine storage is too small. I know it can't be fussy, but the biodome is quite grassy. I know some people are allergic to it. Girl, bleh, try again. Girlie, you can just tell us it's because you don't want us trampling on your plants. Well, yes, but I do want to be impolite. Perhaps the food court will be best then. It's a large space with fairly comfortable furniture. We could set up some temporary beds there. You know what I should be doing? As I go along here, sorry, I keep nudging my microphone by accident, because my freaking nose feels itchy. What I should do, actually, is open up the memo function on my mobile phone here. Because I said I, was, I should really do this. Actually write things down as they happen, so that, that way um, I remember things. Because obviously, so far in Danganronpa Antebellum, as of when I record this, Chapter 3 Daily Life is the most recent instalment that's been released. So, thing is, um, it'll be a while probably before, um, you know, before the next chapter gets released. The uh, Deadly Life for this chapter, that is. So, you know, in that time I'll probably forget a load of things. Alright, well, I'll put first thing in here. So, um, let's just say, ceiling ceiling collapsed. Oh, I'm just going to write this down. Oh god. Cast split up. So on our side we have Shinku. Obviously no, not... Damn it, my phone just auto-corrected to Shinjuku. <laughs> we have Shinku, we have Rei. No. 
God, it's going to autocorrect every name I type in here. Ray. We have Asuga. We have Kotaro. No, don't. God damn it, if I can autocorrect it, Kotaro to potato. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Stop autocorrecting, please. Kotaro, Mint, and Takiko. That's who we've got, haven't we? So on the other side is everyone else. So if I, um, no. God dang it, he just autocorrected Takiko to Tajikistan. That's not right. <laughs> Come on now. God dang it. God dang it, dang it, Billy. No, stop autocorrecting to Tajikistan. That's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> stop it. There we go. So I'll just write on other side. Uh, will, of course, be uh, obviously Lyra. She's over there. Uh, Taka, he's over there. No, not take. Taka plus, you know, all the other ones. Um, actually, I don't really need to um, know who's on kind of the other side, do I? I just need to put who's on this side. So, yes, that's fine. We'll just leave that note for there at the moment, I think. Okay, I can add more to it as we go along. Right, so I'm just, like I say, making a note of things as I go along. So that way, when Chapter 3 Deadly Life eventually gets revealed, I have a record of what's happened. So I don't, you know, I can refresh my memory. Uh, seems good to me. Suppose it works. The fitness centre is too smelly, and the trial waiting room gives me the heebie-jeebies. Also, the food court is great for super cool getting along new friends' midnight feasts. He, he's not impressed. Well, we should get to setting up some beds in food court, then. Ooh, I'll try and bargain with a kitty for sheets, sweet sheets in the shop. Everything there is so expensive. That's okay, I can afford it. Mm -hmm. It was only a moment before Tokyo pulled out a comically large bag of monocoins. Where did you get all that? <laughs> She's probably been absolutely farming them around the building. I've not even seen one coin. Where did you get all that? Oh, it's simple. I found something super secret in the garden, and the kitty gave this to me as hush money. What did you find? Interesting. D you you got to spill the beans. What did you find? Even the purest souls give in to the corporate greed of capitalism instead of sharing their information for the greater good. <laughs> well... I think spending her money on helping us all get beds is still quite good. Indeed. Nah, it starts with beds, but soon she'll be redistributing all her wealth, and this side of the lab will become our own personal communist utopia. Yes! <laughs> Share all the beds. Share them all. See? Maybe this isn't too bad. In the name of the proletariat. No. I'm going to stop this before Asuga rambles on for two hours and Kotaro pitches in with his oddly specific knowledge. <laughs> oh dear, let's not get into a political conversation. That's how freaking friendships drive apart. Well, either way, since I'm super rich here, I'll buy us all bets. I'm going to come with you, see if we can bargain for anything else. I'll keep a watch on Kotaro for now. Let's stay in the food court. Maybe we can make pizza or whatever you like. Doesn't that sound exciting? Aki used to cook with me. <laughs> We'll figure something out. I'm going to attend to my garden. I'm getting a little stressed tonight. I think I need to focus on myself for a moment. I actually think I might be in luck for once. I was washing my sheets when this happened. I think my bed sheets might be in the fitness centre's washing machine. So I'm going to go put those in the dryer and meet up with you soon, alright? Now bye, Shishi. I made my way over to the fitness centre. It seemed things were mainly under control. I sighed as I pulled my sheets out of the washing machine, putting them in the dryer. It wasn't turning on. Again, I often went to hit it to try and reboot it, but I was stopped by a voice. Whoa, what? 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 Oh, what? Oh, what now? Who are you doing there? Who are you doing there? I turned around trying to see who it was. Don't. I went silent and rapidly scrambled around my pockets trying to find the medication. I wasn't about to relapse. I was getting better. No, no, no. H.E. wouldn't want this. Drockle wouldn't want this. Hey, hey, don't freak out. I don't mean harm. I just meant, if you hit it, you might hurt your hand. Just be patient. What, is this a freaking AI or something? But what do you... I don't know, I just want to keep you safe. You're not. I'm not like the others. Yeah. After a moment of waiting, shaking at the presence of this new being, the dryer turned on. Just like it said, be patient. What are you? Who are you? Please, do not be afraid. I'm your buddy. I just don't remember who I am. I wish to keep you safe, though. You're my buddy. Yes, in fact, I'm your friend. Friend? Okay, okay. And why don't you want to hurt me? 
I don't know. Do not know even. I just know that I am your friend. You look like Aichi. Aichi? I'm afraid I do not know who that is. What is your name? Shinku Katsuki. That's a lovely name, little buddy. Wait, I'm blending here this, this voice and Shinku together. Even if the surname means dead tree. What was going on? So do we simply wait here for the washing to be dried? It just goes in circles over and over. You don't have to look at it so closely. But it's interesting. How fun it would be to spin over and over like an amusement park, like spinning teacups. I suppose that might be nice. Akari always liked those. Akari liked a lot of things. Well, that was a weird one. You know Akari. Anyone who's a buddy of little buddy is a friend of friend. You're weird. And you're doing better, little buddy. I know it's exhausting sometimes just to be alive, but I'm proud of how far you've come. Getting up each day to do this, um, drying. It's really not a big accomplishment. Little buddy, anything is achievement if you're proud of it. Now I'm sure the others are waiting for you. Shall we go see your new beds? Perhaps we could even bounce on one. <sighs> I'm not a kid, that would be silly. But if you want to have fun, your age should not stop you. Maybe. The uh, fuck was that? What was that about? <laughs> Shiku, are you hearing things again? I still feel very off, but maybe this wasn't as bad until I could get some meds. It's starting to feel slightly normal. Found my way to the food court. Bed's already set up in neat rows. Oh hey, Skinny Legs is back. We got all the beds we need and we still have coins. Azuka is teaching me all about how I should share my wealth. So factually incorrect. Alcatara, some of us couldn't afford a private education. That's just one of the many issues with the large upper and lower class divide and... Hey, weren't you meant to bring back your sheets? Huh? Oh, you must have forgotten. This has got to be in Shinku's head. Oh, right, I'll go back from later. Well, we've got a fairly long, good setup going on here, so it just feels free, feel free to sit back and relax. Jump on the bed. No. You would have a fun time. I need to act my age. Who are you talking to? He's definitely seeing things. Shinku, what's with the meds that you've been taking? Is Shinku going mad? Do you not want to relax? Sorry, just a bit out of it. Spoke out loud. Uh, alright. So everything is set up here? Yep, yep. That's great. I might spend some time writing, then. I spent some time to myself for the rest of the afternoon, feeling, feeling a lingering presence behind me the entire time. I started to get used to it. But after a bit, I grew a bit tired of my own company. Maybe I should try and find someone else to hang out with? Hey. Yeah. We could go and uh, talk to someone, couldn't we? Can we uh, take a save? I think we can, yes. Let's put it in there for now. Night. Uh, I might also just um, take down the background music a little bit as well, just because it uh, does get kind of loud. So I assume here that we can only talk to certain people, right? Okay. Is there blood on that thing? Maybe we throw a what? You're not going to comment on the pink stains there, Shinku? Just not at all? I sleep and skip. No, 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 don't. I said not to be a neat. Wait, is it going to let me do that with all the beds? Nah, it's not. Uh, that could be Kotaro. I don't want to talk to him. Um, let's have a look around. Well, that's just blocked off now. We can't get over there. Okay. Um, I'm kind of tempted to maybe talk to Asuga. Because I kind of like her. I think she looks interesting. Let's talk to Asuga if we can find her. She'll be around somewhere. Um, yeah, there's still freaking blood on things. It's really weird. Freaky. Uh, are you in one of these rooms off to the side? That's Takiko, isn't it? No, I don't want to spend time with you. No, 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 no. Asuga, where the hell are you? You're not in there. You're not in the medicine storage, are you? I should also maybe take, like, a... Try and take more of a map of this place whilst I'm actually here. Mint, are you in the biodome garden? You probably are somewhere, aren't you? Yeah, that's like Mint over there. I'm not really interested in talking to him. Um... Oh, where the hell is Asuga? Downstairs, or oh god, that's the trial waiting room. Ray, I see you're down here. I don't want to have to deal with you. Asuga, where the fuck are you at? A washing machine to toss your dirty shoes in. Where the fuck did Asuga get to? Am I just freaking oh, she's right there. <laughs> I somehow did not see her. I think the UI might have been covering her. Yeah, let's spend a bit of time with her. Hi, oh, what's up? You want to hang out, skinny legs? Sure. Just, uh, gotta make sure you ain't someone in disguise. Oh, sorry, right, your, your dialogue just cut out. Shit. Um, 
Uh, what was your favourite animal again? I can't actually remember. Was it frogs? Frogs? Woo! I yes. Knew you could do it. There we go. Let's get to hanging out. Let's do it. A sugar, while a friendly face, friendly face, friendly face in the lab, was usually rather hard to get a hold of. Whether it be because she was doing elaborate flips and leaps across the halls of the lab, or because she was preoccupied helping someone else out. Either way, it was finally nice to hang out with her for a bit. I had a few questions on my mind, but my train of thought was swiftly interrupted. Oh, Shinkuku. Still walking around with no backbone here. Uh, what? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But you're staring off into space. Jeez, are you okay? You seem distracted. Just, uh, wanted to ask you something. Uh, what's that laying on me? How long have you been doing the ringleader thingy? Do you have to work your way up from a lower level to being where you are now, or...? Well, Shinku, have you ever heard of the whole little ultimate thing? The elementary school ultimates? You were one of them? Jeez, you must have been commanding circuses from a really young age. Uh, no, it's actually uh, the little ultimate pageant queen. What? Yeah, my mother kind of, like, forced me into it, but it wasn't any fun as soon as I gained an ounce of, an ounce of self self-awareness. You didn't like it? Of course not. There were a lot of stupid rules. It just wasn't fair. All the other kids were running around the playground and just having fun. And I was being chastised for losing a tooth. <laughs> it was dumb. She wanted, she wanted me to act 20, and I just wanted to eat paste. That sounds really frustrating, actually. Besides, who puts kids together against their beauty? That's dumb. Stupid dumb, and even more stupid. Beauty is subjective anyway. So, uh, how'd you get out of it? I didn't for a while, I just dealt with it. I did like a bit of a little shit at pageants, though. Don't regret that. For a while, so you got out eventually. Well, I've been practicing gymnastics on the playground whenever my mother actually let me go to school. I eventually became real flexible, so one day, after a real bad argument with mother, I said, You know what, step on Lego, then yeeted myself out the window. Wow. <laughs> you said to your mother, step on Lego. I feel like there are probably, uh, <clears throat> bigger things you could have said to her, but okay. Yeet it. I flung myself out of it, but quickly flipped in the air to grab onto a ledge. And as soon as mother stopped looking out the window, I rushed away. I ran into the night like a superhero, or an idiot. Huh. So yeah, that's the dramatic backstory of Asuka Hino. Now, let's do something fun, alright. Uh, okay. Asuka spent the next few hours bossing me around joyfully, trying to teach me how to how to do a dance routine. Oh, Yay! Yeah. Nice. God, I'm tired. I rubbed my eyes and moved over to my designated bed in the food court, laying down. Once again, my best friend's insomnia was making it hard to sleep. I was ready to just stare at the ceiling for the night, but I was cut off by a voice. It appears you're having trouble sleeping. What is going on? Why are you suddenly seeing this? Would you like a bedtime story? I'm not a little kid. Or perhaps some hot milk. Do you need to be tucked in, a lullaby, a nightlight? It was oddly nice having something care for me so closely. Or do you just need to talk? Was it my fault? I'm afraid that's something I cannot answer, little buddy. Just remember that what has happened cannot be reversed. You may have messed up along the line, but it's not good to hurt yourself over past mistakes. Now, how about a bedtime story? Really, I'm alright. Well, it's not good to stay up. Sleep deprivation is deadly. How about I suggest a strategy for getting to bed? I'm all ears. Close your eyes. Imagine an island, isolated from everything. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I accidentally just uh, swallowed, and it went down the wrong way. <coughs> oh. I try not to blast your eardrums out. Imagine this island is filled with hundreds of cute, fluffy, and friendly cats. All meowing at you for pets. Pet the cats, little buddy. Count them as you do. One, two, three, four, five. And did I go to sleep? Right. I still remember how it all started. Huh. Hey. Uh. What am I looking at? Uh. This feels... weird. You don't look like you're from around here. God, why is the voice so... like, radio staticky? What's that about? Lyra's very quiet. Feisty one. Huh. Well, what's a good kid like you doing in a place like this? Can I, uh... Hanging out. You were sobbing like a toddler. I can't actually bring up the pause menu here. I was going to see if I could rebalance the audio level so we can hear Lyra better, but... Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Maybe I can help you with whatever predicament you've landed yourself. I got I got kicked out. Good night. Hmm. 
yeah, I can barely hear Lyra speaking there. I do enjoy this fan game, but some of the audio levels really do need balancing better. Do you have anywhere to go? I think you've two shits about that. Don't be replacing parts now, I just... You just what? Good night, mates. I, I don't even know anymore. You're ill, aren't you? Who is Shado? Shido? That head of yours. It's filled with terrible things. You're completely and utterly ill. That's why you were kicked out. And yet, your body is still fighting. You are still alive. Listen, I like fighters. I need people with good endurance. Good survival skills. What is this? Is this a dream? I've got a business, you see. The workers are always an issue. Yeah, I don't like... Ugh, I don't like where that's going. If she's on the street, that could be any number of things. I don't like it. But also, if this is a dream, if this is Shinku's dream, then... How is he having it? How about you come work for me, dear? Once you've worked enough, I'll give you enough to afford your own house, and in the meantime, you can stay with my other employees. Oh no, oh no. I'm getting real bad vibes from this. Good day, and you won't kick me out? Not unless you piss me off. Jesus. There it is. You're smiling. You're much prettier that way. Huh. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Ugh, that was weird. I feel like that was suggesting all kinds of things. It's like in Ultra Despair Girls with the scene with Kotoko. You know, with the shadow looming over her. Ugh, no, 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 no. Okay, is it switching over? Maybe that was in Lyra's dream. Maybe we're going to play as Lyra for a bit. That'd be awesome if we do. Uh, I'm literally fucking dying. We're all dying slowly but surely. You cannot stop it. Did I ask for your opinion? I don't need your apathetic bullshit right now. Can you stop yelling? Oh, can you stop? Can you stop yelling? My best friend is literally a living toothpick, and he's stuck on the other side without me. He's gonna die, so maybe I'm not calm. That doesn't mean you have to complain about every little thing. I can complain about the food if I want to. If I have to live off a diet of library apples and stale book bread for the next few days, I'm gonna get a killer stomachache. As someone who looks about ten years old, you seem to constantly act as if you're on your period. Do you want me to? Do you want me to bash your tills over your head? <laughs> meow, friends, buddies, pitch boys, calm down, calm down. Take some advice from a wise old man. Can I make you the youngest deer, Tarka? Meow, at least we have food this time. It'll all be poggers. Yeah, because someone isn't designed to take it this time. <laughs> hmm. Meow, I'm going through my redemption arc right now. You need to speed up and forgive me before I get prematurely killed off. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> That's quite enough. But, no. Meow, hey, I... Silence. It's clear that most of us cannot fully collaborate with one another maturely. Due to this, perhaps it's for the best if we try and find different places to sleep. Lab 1, Lab 2 and the infirmary all have beds. We can split into twos and take a room each. Hmm. I feel like I should note this down. If they're going to be splitting up. Just saying. I feel like we should do that. So, hang on. So... Uh, right, so hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, other side... I'll put it like this, I'll phrase it this way. Other side, obviously, is Alora. I'll write down who's actually there, so I don't forget names. Tarka, uh, obviously, Amelia, uh, Ismini... Oh, mistyping that entirely. Nope. God dang it, it freaking auto-created Ismini to idleness for some reason. <laughs> Like nothing like it. Alora Taka, uh, Amelia is meanie. Obviously, there's Kiyoshi. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, put him there. And obviously, Lyra. So, how many actually people have we got left? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, did I count that correctly? Yeah, because there's uh, 6 on this side where we are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 6, 6. There's 12 in to total. Right, so, um, hang on. So, sleeping. Let me just write this down. Sleeping arrangements? Nope. Come, come, come here. Come here. Sleeping arrangements. So, lab one, lab two, and infirmary? Okay. So, they're on that side. 
I'm just I'm just writing it down because I feel like you know these are all important points. They're probably going to come into play in a trial at some point. Me and Alora will be sharing a room. <laughs> Tucker and Kyoshi will wound together. Let's shove him in lab one. <laughs> we will not be. Yeah, I don't want to be left alone with him. He acts like such a fool. Can we not simply condemn him to the shed? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, the fuck? We go? We get? The fuck would we get a shed? God, I couldn't read that for a second then. G'day, mates. Listen, Tucker. If he gets too much, you can come to wherever I'm sleeping and stay with me. I'd like to pair up with Lyra. Can we take the infirmary? Right. So hang on. Let me just. Um, so, lab one is Tarka and Kiyoshi. Okay, I'm just going to write this down. So, um, Ismini and Lyra are in the infirmary. So, Ismini and Lyra infirmary. And that obviously puts Alora with Amelia in lab two, I'm guessing. Ugh, whatever. Does anyone know where I could locate some earplugs on this side of the lab? Right, so, hold on, let me write that down as well. Alora and Amelia. Lab. No, not Emilio. Amelia. Stop auto correcting to Emilio. <laughs> She's not an Italian dude. <laughs> right, there we go. So they're in lab two, right? <laughs> Bitch, I haven't even. Are you sure you're okay with this arrangement, darling? Dr. Asami, and it's fine. Perhaps I should try and collaborate with the more challenged members of the lab. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Literally just call me a slur over challenge. <laughs> Maybe we should attempt to stay in these pairs while investigating set up, just to prevent murders. Seems fair to me. Good eye mates alright in my dude, seems like that's all covered. Anything else? Yeah, yes. <laughs> None of them's pleased about that. Good eye, uh, yup, what is it? Yeah, Taka Taka Hero needs his cool testosterone shots to remain the coolest, sexiest, most handsome guy in the world. However, I believe that I hoarded all the tea from the infirmary and medicine storage and left it in my room. That's fine. Yeah, no, it's not. I might start having mood swings. Or, or wipe out my chances of growing facial hair, or... I can make you some. G'day, what's got into you? Why are you suddenly being so helpful instead of simply making a storm of smart noises and looking at us apathetically? Collaboration will be key to survival. Besides, I do wish to stay productive. It shall be an interesting side project. Yeah, why, thank you, Alora Balora Kalora. Maybe you yourself are based. The cool chemist, Alora, awesome me. Do you want the testosterone or not? Yeah, I'll keep my mouth shut. G'day, all right, my dudes. So, me and Iz in the infirmary, Laurie and Leah in lab two, Tucker and Ginger in lab one. Thanks. You're so welcome. I appreciate we're all a little shaken and worried about those on the other side. I'd like to request people remain calm and use their heads if they think about murder. Think carefully. None of you are smart enough to get away with it, so it's really not worth the hassle. G'day, wow. Now, I shall bid you all adieu. Me and Lyra are going to set up our room. G'day, oh shit. I guess it's happening now. Oh damn, that's my wrist he just grabs. Oh, we're leaving. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> just pulled her out. I was dragged out by Ismini taking me to the infirmary. Yeah, we're actually playing as Lyra now. That's awesome. I like Lyra. Which of the beds would you like? We're going to sleep in here, are we? <laughs> G'day, damn, is I don't know. It's a large toss-up between the one with the creepy doll on it and the one with the suspicious stain on it. There's also the one that smells like bone marrow if you taste some more refined. Oh yeah, my favourite scent. Literal actual bone marrow. Coming to a perfume store near you. It was a joke. G'day, discovered by the ultimate perfumologist Ismini Circe, inspired by her perfume sniffing adventures. We asked Ismini what she thought about a new bone marrow scent being on the market, and she said, You've been distant lately. No. <laughs> Spent a lot of time in Ray's room. I know you use humour to cope, Lyra. You're not very subtle. But these recent jokes, they feel like you're forcing them. He seemed almost excited we were cut off from the rest of the lab. Is I... Liar. I need you to promise me you won't just lie to me. Shit. G'day, since that trial, since I was blackmailed, he, since he, he learned about my weaknesses, he's tried to protect me. Is this Ray? Ray's the blackmailer. Maybe? I... To be completely honest, is I'm scared to be around you. What? I think he might hurt you if he sees us getting close. I think you're taking advantage of me, trying to hurt me. This can't be. It's fine, Is Really, I... I can handle it. I'm like literally a drop-dead gorgeous girl with comical amounts of charisma. Trust me, my dude, I can talk my way out of everything. Just be careful. Why do you care so much about me? What, you got a crush? That's enough out of you. 
Oh, come on, he's... I know literally, basically anyone would want to smooch these lips. I like literally Aphrodite. Really, now? Yeah, not really, because I'm looking at Aphrodite right now. <laughs> wow, smooth. <laughs> if I'm Aphrodite, then you're a Lembian woman. Oh, yeah? Cursed with a foul odour so bad all their husbands left them and they went crazy and murdered them before being cursed and turned into swines. Hot. Quiet you. We're getting suddenly a load of ancient Greek jokes. <laughs> ancient Greek burns, ladies and gents. Okay. You know, well, if we're all done here, then I'm going to go spend some time to myself. Alright, maybe you'll find someone who will actually fall for your cheesy pickup lines and foolish charms somewhere else. I'll get you one day. I'll get you under a spell or hex up something mytholo mythological ish. Like Narcissus. Yeah, totally sure whoever that guy is. He became so obsessed with his own beauty, he stared into a pool until it became a flower. Listen, I'm just going to take the fact you called me beautiful indirectly with that and ignore the rest of that shit. That was not my intent. Too late, you said it. Bye. I have some time to myself. Let's go find some poor soul to inflict myself upon. I kind of want to talk to his meanie. Not going to lie. I kind of do. Because everyone else... Nah, not interested in his meanie. His meanie's been more friendly to me recently. Maybe we could hang out. You're really Let's do. In staying around me. Well, liar, what do you think of my crime? Does it change your perception of me? You monster. He deserved it. I can't forgive you. Nah, I say he deserved it. Get on a good side. Sure. Go nice, someone else, liar. I suppose I do have some time. Because the whole thing was that she was being abused. The guy she killed was basically an abuser. Seemed at this point my day consisted of being around no one but his meanie Cersei. Gurley really took me by the metaphorical hand and has not let go since. And even saying that, her attitude still remains sharp. G'day, you know, is I'm kind of surprised you wanted me as your roomie. Huh? I would have thought you'd have wanted to stay with someone like Alora, real quiet. You seem to not like noise. I suppose. Noise is distracting, sure, yes, but quite frankly, after a childhood of quiet, I think I've become quite fond of some noise. It reminds me people are near. Ah, oh, do you not want to be alone? No, it just ensures my safety. Wow, I feel so flattered. It literally so nice to me is. It must have been real popular in high school. Mm, I'm guessing she wasn't. She sighed and nervously looked away for a moment. I never truly had a friend before I showed up here. My education was special. Enriching, yes, but it left me isolated from others. If I'm being completely honest, liar, I don't believe I ever fully learned how to properly speak to people. Well, amen to that. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Good eye, I couldn't tell. That's enough out of you. Yes, Mummy. Perish. Quite frankly, despite my frankly far superior intelligence to all of you, I believe it's why I act quite... bitchy. I was going to say haughty, but I suppose that works too. Yeah, I think she needs Lyra to help her out. Because Lyra's quite straight talking. Says it as it is. Lyra can sort of bring her down a peg, I think. And get her sort of, you know, help her socialise with everyone, I guess. I never really learned how to talk to people my age, I get. Slightly nervous and always make, it always makes it awkward. So pushing them away will spare me the embarrassment of being mocked by someone inferior to me. G'day, are you? So you're actually really shy? No. Wait, why am I saying all of this to you? Hey, it's alright. I don't mind. No, I've said too much. Well, let's change the subject then. Be a wallaby. Or two. I know some mythology too, you know. Oh dear, Dionysus, help me. <laughs> I spent the next few hours telling his meanie comically incorrect mythology facts and watching her correctly. Well, we friendship ranked up with her. I walked back to the infirmary after hanging out for the day. Oh god, I accidentally skipped that. His meanie something or other. I walked over to the shelves, picking up some Xanax and shoving a few pills in my mouth to stop the ringing in my head. I took a deep breath, slumping against the cabinet. Uh, Oh. Does Lyra have her own inner demon? Well, well, well. Look who it is. Oh, fuck me. Still hiding away, huh? Still taking stuff to stop yourself from thinking about everything you've destroyed? Go on. Keep taking them. Off you go. I glared at the apparition, taking another pill to just try and get it to disappear from my head. I don't think that's enough, little talent thief. More. No. Who told you that you're in control here? What has that ever gotten you anywhere? Need I remind you who got Callum killed? Heed up. God damn it. If it really hurts, maybe you'll get lucky and overdose. You haven't wanted to live for a while now, have you? But you feel like if you die, that grief will die with you. You're not even strong enough to get the guts to kill yourself. Damn. Tell me, Lyrene. 
Why do you deserve this, when so many have died? When all you do is cheat and lie and scrape your way through life, tossing people away when it suits you, shoving them into your bullshit. I think it's time you grow up. Because you stop so many from having the opportunity to. Ugh. I tried to drown my problems in any substance I can get my hands on. But the damn things just learn how to swim. Wow. Oh, come on, Kale. Don't be locked, eh? We haven't even got started yet. Wow. He's genuinely Australian. <laughs> Is Lyra actually Australian? Is that actually where she's supposed to be from? Did I actually give her just the right voice? Okay, this must be a flashback from her past. Or, some, or maybe it's like her own dream. Funny that she, uh, you know, dreams in the same sort of weird location that Shinku always goes to. I, I really do have to get home. C come on, lads. Don't do this. Sure. Better have a lovely evening planned of wanking off and doing jack shit. I wonder how long can you even last in these scrawny arms. Are they Australian? Or are they more sort of like British? I don't know. The man grabbed him by the arms, the girl pulling out a flashy looking utility knife and a phone. Textbook mugging. Uh, Oi! Get off me! This isn't. Uh, this isn't funny! Really, Cal? We both know that as close as you're ever going to get to a woman. Again, just slightly quiet voices. Need to speak up a bit. You got his wallet yet? And what exactly is going on here? Well, younger Lyra? Huh? And who are you? His girlfriend or some shit? I would hope not, considering I'm his sister. What? Now, let's are we done here or what? Why would we shit? That symbol, she's she's put up Whatever, let's get out of here. Right. Ah. Uh, bye, Cal. <laughs> Awkward. You alright, kid? Uh just dancing. Listen, I'm not one to say you need to change your branding, but... I know, I know. I'm basically a massive billboard that says, I'm a dumb tiny nerd man. Bully me. Man, you get it. That's rad. But who even says rad anymore? Who even says a lot of the things that these characters come out with? <laughs> <laughs> not letting you finish that. Well, I finished her last night. Uh, <laughs> okay, Lyra. Those two would be, uh very confused right now if they overheard this, considering you said you were my sister. It's fine, I'll call you daddy or something and that would scare them away. Uh, who, who are you? Wouldn't you like to know? I, I would actually. You came in here, claimed to be my sister, scared off some people just from standing there, and now you're threatening to call me daddy. And I'm not entirely <laughs> sure if that's a threat or a compliment? The ultimate threat. Don't do anything bad, kids. Or maybe we'll call you daddy. Threat. Most definitely a threat. Unless you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> tell you what, Cal. I'll tell you who I am if you buy me some noodles or some shit. Are you asking me for dinner? But because I would be flattered. And I promise what Asteria said about me and women earlier isn't true. And. Yeah, don't lay it on too thick, mate. I have a girlfriend. I. M m mean, uh, shit. Uh, I'm Callum, and I own the school's debate club. Uh. Wait, you don't go to my school. Uh, shit. Uh, I I'm being an idiot. Uh. Mm, debate club. Interesting. Because Lyra is, well, Lyra claimed to be the ultimate debater, didn't she? Okay, okay, interesting. I'll just get the noodles now. See that in the water there? It's got jellyfish. Looks like there's multiple ones. Curious, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Can I, uh, hold on. Just do this. Pull that in. Bring this mass down and bring us to a stop. Can I go swimming with jellyfish? Not that you really want to, but, uh, let's have a look. Just kind of curious, that's all. No jellies. Can I get out of the vessel? Wow. Holy shit. Can we actually go swimming in the depths? Let's do it. Oh my god. <laughs> do we want to be doing this? Maybe? Also, they're not on the seabed. What if I touch one of them? Uh, there's nothing on the seabed by the looks of it. 
how strange.